Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, cool temperatures today, certainly cooler than yesterday. It doesn't feel all that bad out there, though. I stepped outside just a second ago. Winds very light, so that does make a big difference. Temperatures uh, in the mid-30s, low to mid-30s across our northeast counties, but we're starting to develop a southerly wind here back towards the west. And you can see temperatures there. For example, Sydney, Montana have already warmed back up to 40 degrees with a temperature of 36 and 37 in Dickinson and Bismarck, respectively. Now we add in the wind and the temperatures, and yeah, there's not much of a wind chill factor. Cartiva wind chills showing temperatures feeling outside like the 20s. That's what the coldest spots are. Here is Dickinson, and you got quite a bit of sunshine out there right now. The train kind of stalled out on the tracks. It's 36 degrees. And look at the wind. Very light out of the south right now at three miles per hour. Now here's the almanac. Uh, new number hasn't updated yet, but our high, I believe, was about 36, 37 degrees today in Bismarck. So we were almost 10 degrees below our average, 45 degrees the average. 81 degrees set back in 2007. That was on this day 13 years ago. Satellite radar, yeah, we do have some clouds rolling on in. We were looking at the chance for accumulating snow across the South Dakota, North Dakota border. It looks like there is some light snow on right about the border there. Uh, maybe a bit of accumulation, but we're not looking at anything significant and things are really winding down. So didn't get much out of that system. We're looking at clouds kind of moving off towards the east. Some more rain back in Montana right now. Not going to be any trouble. There's an area of weak low pressure across Saskatchewan right now, but it looks like the precipitation will be confined to the Canadian side of the border through early tomorrow morning. We'll see a few clouds out there, more clouds towards the south, basically south of I-94, or towards the north, we'll see some clearing skies. Tomorrow morning, looking at maybe a little bit more light snow developing here. This model is showing the snow kind of reaching a little farther north than some of our others. I think most of the precipitation will stay to our south. Nevertheless, just a slight chance a little bit of precipitation in Bismarck. Morning snow possible, maybe a little bit of afternoon rain shower activity. There you go. But again, you can see clearing skies. We're going to get some sunshine out there by the time the daylight is done. After that, well, we're looking at a pretty quiet but warm pattern. I want to zoom out here. I'm going to show you the temperatures across basically the midsection of the country. This is Friday afternoon. You can see some very warm temperatures down towards the south, but they're kind of blocked between the really warm temperatures to the south and uh, the warmer temperatures here to the north, although we still get to the mid-50s. As we head on in towards the weekend, still looking at mid-50s here, some cooler air moving in towards the Great Lakes region. Watch what happens, though, as we head on in towards Sunday. You start to see the warmer air making its uh, advance north as a, a big ridge of uh, high pressure develops. That's when we're talking about those upper level winds, the jet stream. Jet stream is going to be parked way up to the north, so it's going to allow these warmer temperatures, and we could get into the 60s by Monday, down to maybe the 50s on Tuesday, then back up to near 60 degrees on Wednesday, maybe well into the 60s by Thursday. Now, one caveat with this, this is just one model run. I don't want to make a forecast of a one model run, but you kind of get the idea that we could be looking at some warm weather uh, through the next week or so. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 20s. Your highs tomorrow, temperatures warming up into the 40s for many of us. We could flirt with 50 degrees out in eastern Montana. Your three-day forecast for Dickinson, look at this. Maybe a slight chance tomorrow, but more sunshine with temperatures in the 50s by the weekend. Williston, we're getting some sunshine as well. Highs in the mid to upper 50s by Saturday. Check out your seven-day forecast for Minot. Temperatures warming on up here. Upper 40s tomorrow, then we're dry and sunny and mild. You can even call it warm. Seasonably warm by early next week. Bismarck, lots of sunshine. And uh, we're looking at warm temperatures continuing through next week. Guys, it's really uh, kind of a nice thing to celebrate. A small victory there. A small the victory. We'll yeah. take it. Thank you, sir. Coming up next in sports.